Welcome to a video on solving percent problems using the percent proportion. I do have another video that uses the percent equation. And the goal of this video is to solve percent problems. Let's first review what a proportion is. When two pairs of numbers have the same ratio, like the numbers two and five and six and fifteen, we say they are proportional. The equation two over five is equal to six over fifteen is a proportion. We can say two is to five as six is to fifteen. In any proportion, the cross products are equal. Notice that two times fifteen is equal to five times six because they're both equal to thirty. And this is a very important fact because it does allow us to solve a proportion if one of the four numbers is unknown. For example, if we have this proportion and we're asked to solve for x, we can use the fact that x times 100, or 100x, must equal 8 times 35. So we have an equation that states 100x is equal to 280. So now we can solve for x by dividing by 100 to obtain the value of x, which is 2.8. So we can say that 2.8 is to 8 as 35 is to 100. This is exactly how we will solve percent problems using the percent proportion. The percent proportion states that the part is to whole as the percent number is to 100. But to set these up, sometimes it's difficult to determine which is the part and which is the whole. So I like to use key words just like the percent equation. The number associated with is will be in the numerator, and the number associated with of will be in the denominator. And if we have the percent, it will be the number over 100. Let's go ahead and give it a try. The question is, what is 4% of 1,400? The first thing I notice is we are given the percent so we're going to have four over 100. Next, notice how it says what is. That's keying us that the number associated with is will be our unknown. We'll call this x. And it says of 1400, of will end up in the denominator. From here, it's straightforward. We find our cross products. 100x equals 5600 divide by 100, we have x equals 56. So 56 is 4% of 1,400. Next question, 56 is what percent of 40? Notice we have 56 is, that tells us that 56 is the part or ends up in the numerator. Next, we see what percent, so we don't know the percent. So the unknown will be the number over 100. So we'll have P over 100. And lastly, it says of 40. 40 is the whole, so it ends up in the denominator. From here, we perform cross products. 40P equals 5600. We divide by 40. P equals 140. However, remember the question was what percent? So our final answer will be 140 percent. And that's why I like to use the variable P when we're looking for the percent. So let's read this. 56 is 140 percent of 40, which does make sense because this number is more than 100 percent of 40. Let's try another. Remember, it's is over of equals p over 100. The first thing I see, we have the percentage. That will be 2 over 100. 6 is, that's the part. Remember, is over of. And I always remember that because i becomes for o, so it's in alphabetical order. And we're looking for the number associated with of, which will be our whole. That's, we'll have our x down here. And then again, cross products, 2x must equal 600, divide by 2, to obtain x equals 300. Again, let's see if this makes sense. 
6 is 2 percent of 300. And to me that's logical. 6 is a small percentage of this larger number, 300. Okay, let's take a look at a couple applications. Again, the key to solving an application is try to reword this into a simple percent question. To finance for education, Lupe takes out a $4,000 loan for one year. If she is charged 12% simple interest per year, how much interest will she pay in the first year? Well, if she's charged 12% interest, the question is, what is 12% of the loan amount, which is 4000 Okay, so once we reword this, we can just write our proportion and solve for the unknown. We have our percentage that will be 12 over 100. And remember, it's is over of. We don't know the number associated with is or the part, so that will be our unknown. But we do have the of or the whole, which is 4,000. Cross products, 100x equals 4,000 times 12 will equal 48,000. Divide by 100 x equals 480. So she will pay $480 interest for that first year. And let's take a look at one more. This one's a little more involved. One cup of regular ice cream has 350 calories. The light version advertises 25% less calories. How many calories are in two cups of the light ice cream? So we could find 25% of this and then subtract, but if we think about it in another way, it'll save us some work. If the light version has 25% less calories, what percent of calories remain? Well, 100% minus 25% would be 75%. So if we can answer the question, what is 75% of 350, we would know how many calories are in one cup of the light version. Let's go ahead and try this. Here's our proportion. We know the percentage. We don't know the number associated with is, so again we will have x over 350 is over of. Cross products 100x equals 26,250 divide by 100 x equals 262.5 now these are calories but we have to be careful here because that's the number of calories in one cup of light ice cream but the question is asking how many calories in two cups so we do need to multiply this by two to get the total calories in two cups and this will give us 525 calories. Now we could have done this a couple ways, but hopefully you were able to follow this method. Thank you for watching.